Okie dokie. We're back with my buddy, Steve Reichland. And apparently the person who sent this said he murdered Cajun cuisine. Now, I am not a expert on Cajun cuisine. So unfortunately, I'm going to go into this a little bit into the dark. But eh, I, I think I can handle it if it's Steve Reichland. I know Cajun cuisine usually doesn't use a lot of sauce. The Shrimp Boil is a Gulf Coast institution from the bayous of Louisiana to the islands off Florida's west coast. Well, you know Reichland's rule, if it tastes good boiled, it surely tastes better grilled. Up next, the Grill Top Shrimp Boil. Um, if it's a shrimp boil, then it's in water. Does it matter where the fucking water is heated up from? To cook the shrimp boil, I'm using a Fire Magic Echelon Diamond Grill. I've set it up... Which probably costs well into the five figures. ...for direct grilling. And you want to load the smoker box with wood chips. That's one of the great advantages of doing a grill top shrimp boil. You can flavor the ingredients with wood smoke. You can see we've got smoke already. Now place the lid back on the smoker box. Finally place the grill grate back on the grill. Close the lid and you are in business. Next step is to make the sauce. Add the beer to the hot pot and boil it until reduced by half. That'd be Budweiser. Once the beer is well reduced, add the heavy cream. Next, add cane syrup, which is the preferred sweetener of the Gulf Coast. It has a wonderful smoky flavor. Then add Worcestershire sauce, a couple of cloves of garlic, which you'll smash lightly. Then the juice of a couple of lemons. And why not, for extra flavor, we'll add the lemon rind. And next, whisk in the butter, little by little. And All right, nothing for, for once, nothing terrible here. This is a traditional Louisiana shellfish sauce. Finally, we'll add some coarse sea salt. Maybe it's because for once he's actually out of my wheelhouse. Black pepper. And if you like a touch of spice, this is called Old Sour. It's simply hot chilies marinated in vinegar and salt. Little splash. That will do it. So let's whisk the ingredients together. The only thing I do know is the, the lemons in that state aren't going to really extract that much flavor. Quick taste. Mm. A little sweet, a little spicy, right on the money. Now let me show you the rub. It consists of equal parts Cajun seasoning, seafood seasoning, and... So Old Bay and whatever Cajun seasoning you happen to have at your fucking grocery store. <laughs> okay, brilliant. And hot pepper flakes for spice. Obviously, don't add more than you mean to. Now mix the ingredients with your fingers. Now for the shrimp. A shrimp oil like this deserves head-on shrimp. Head-on because they're more flavorful, they're also more fun to eat. To clean the shrimp, Take a pair of kitchen scissors and snip down the back. Dude, the head is gross. Shell. Then, using a bamboo skewer, fish out the vein. We're here in Steenhatchee, Florida. The local specialty are bay scallops from the Gulf of Mexico. And on the side of any scallop, there's an opaque crescent shaped muscle. I like to peel that off. It's tougher than the rest of the scallop. Then skewer the scallops. It's easier to turn a few skewers than it is a couple of dozen base scallops. 
course, you could also just put them in a pan and do it that way. Now brush your shrimp and scallops with extra virgin olive oil. And season the shrimp on the oil side with your Cajun seasoning and seafood rub. And do the same with the scallops. Turn the shellfish over and season the shellfish the same way on the other side. Now for the vegetables. We have corn on the cob, okra, and the easiest way to grill yeah. okra is just like you do with asparagus. Okra is gross. Make a raft, pinning it at the top. And the my opinion, my, my opinion, my opinion, okra is gross. I don't want to get a bunch of people that, are, that love okra in the comment section crucifying me. Next, oil the okra on both sides, and then the corn, and sprinkle with rub. Season with more of your shrimp rub. We'll also grill some kielbasa or andouille sausage. Now the fun part, over to the grill. Before grilling, you want to clean your grill grate with a Dude, your smoker box is too high. The chips are on fire. Stiff wire brush and oil the grill with a half an onion dipped in oil and rubbed across the bars of the grate. Looks like our chips... By the way, that that does nothing. The onion by itself is the thing that adds the flavor. Pot fire, no problem. Start by grilling the corn, okra, and kielbasa. And you can bake... No problem that you your, your smoker box caught fire. Well, then what's the point of a smoker box? It's supposed to make smoke, not goddamn fire. Place the corn and okra as they grill to keep them moist. So turn the corn, turn the okra. Oh, baby. You'll turn the kielbasa. Once the okra is browned on both sides, transfer it. Yeah, and hopefully people will actually eat it. To a sheet pan. Grilling is a great way to keep okra crisp without turning it slimy. The kielbasa is ready, and so is the corn. And finally, the shrimp, and I cook these last because you want them to come off hot off the grill. Can't find with that. Cooking time is quick. A couple minutes per side will do it. When the scallops turn white and feel slightly firm, they're ready. You don't want to overcook these base scallops. And once the shrimp are browned on the bottom, turn the shrimp over. And we'll just baste with a little more olive oil. So when your scallops are ready, transfer them to a sheet pan. Line the fucker with parchment paper. So you can see the shrimp have turned pinkish white color. They're firm to the touch. These guys are ready. Why did you keep the heads on when all that shit just burn up? Jesus Christ, just get some colossal shrimp and be fucking done with it. Again, I'm not terribly familiar with Cajun cuisine. I mean, I know of it, I know about it, but it, where is the boil? Okay, so here are your shrimp and scallops. Here are your vegetables. Let's put it all together. And some shrimp. So you did grilled shrimp and scallops with veggies. This is not a boil! Boil involves water! And your okra rafts. And we'll cut up the corn. 
And finally, your kielbasa. Now that's what I call a grill top shrimp boil. So let's that, see. This. That, that's, that's not a boil. There's no water. You did a grilled shrimp platter. Boil involves boiling. Usually involving water. There was no water in this. Scallops. Mm. Again, I'm not saying it might not be delicious. I'm not. I'm not saying it might not taste great. But this is not a boil. There was no goddamn water. <laughs> like, if you want to go shrimp grill, fine. At least then you're accurate. Super sweet, spicy, the shrimp. This is something you definitely eat with your fingers. Mm. Incredibly succulent, nice spice flavor. Jeez, I'd hope so for as much as that fucking grow cost. Briny, mm. and a little drizzle of the barbecue sauce. Mm. That sweet lemony sauce. It goes great with the shellfish. Now a piece of okra. This is amazing. It's crisp, smoke. Okay, for for once, I'll give Steve Reichlin the benefit of the doubt and say that this, let, let's say everything tastes great. Well, that's fine, but this is not a shrimp boil. There was no boiling. He grilled everything, which is fine, but call it a goddamn shrimp grill platter. Smoky, delicious. But you know what? This is an awful lot of food for me to eat alone. Come on in, guys. How about sharing this with me? Mm. What do you think, guys? Delicious. Oh, man, it's so delicious. Thank you, everybody. Of course, God forbid they actually drink Budweiser. All right. That wraps up this motherfucker.